Hey everyone, Lucas Gillespie, Director of Digital Learning and Media here to talk to you a little bit about our role as educators in this crisis, especially as we move forward through next week um, and providing resources, uh, distance learning resources for our students. A um, couple things that I want to talk to you about here, it's really important, and, and this quote has been so uh, relevant to me um, in all of this, um, but Mr. Rogers um, talked to his mother and as a boy who's seeing scary things, and his mom said, always look for helpers. You'll always find people who are helping, and uh, it has become more apparent to me now than ever um, that that's us as educators here, especially in our community. We are those helpers. We're we have families looking to us for stability um, and, and comfort and resources. Um, and so it's important as we move forward to think about what's most important. Um, here's some of the early data that's coming out of our phone calls home. And, I, and first off, I just wanna thank you for using your time uh, to reach out to our families. The feedback from that has been overwhelmingly positive. Um, it has brightened up kids' days. It has uh, also allowed us to collect some really critical information that will help us inform decisions as we move forward. But this is really important, and I want you to look at this. Almost 30 percent of our families um, say that they need meals um, in, in this time of crisis. Um, that's huge. Uh, Six percent of our families say they have no internet, and almost 21 percent of our families have no computer at home. Um, this certainly, this information impacts how we move forward um, with learning here in our district. So again, I ask you, what's most important? Uh, one of the things that, that I tend to view the world, uh, one of the lenses I tend to view the world through is this idea of mental bandwidth um, and, and our stress level. And right now, a lot of our folks have a really um, pegged uh, stress meter right now. We have so much coming at us, whether it's uh, television news, breaking news, social media. Um, some of our families are dealing with kids at home that aren't used to having kids at home. And some of our older kids are babysitting siblings. Some don't know where their next meal is coming from. So the question is, in that, in that pie chart of what you're dealing with in your brain, where does school fit in for some of these kids? And that's an important thing to consider. So what I want to talk to you about here is how we're going to slow down and focus, um, at least for next week. Everything is, is only about next week, and then we'll see where things go from there. Um, one of the things I want to tell you is that distance learning does not necessarily mean online learning. Um, we have kids, again, who can't access or who can't do distance learning or online learning. So we have to be cognizant of that. Uh, we're not trying to have school. We're really only promoting learning. OK, so that's a that's a key concept as well. Uh, everything we do next week will be review only. Um, there will be no grades and we're not going to take attendance. Um, again, this is an issue of equity. Uh, we're not going to use any new programs. Um, right now, we want to focus on the things that we know and that our community knows, Power School Learning, Haiku, um, and Google tools only. Um, we want to keep things simple and focused. Um, and so as we move forward and we design content, you have to assume nothing. You can't assume that anybody has a printer in their home. Heck, I don't even have a functioning printer in my home. The ink poises out and the ink's too expensive. So you can't assume things. Um, you can't assume that they have a computer. So don't assign an essay. Have you ever tried to type an essay with your thumbs? I, I would fail miserably. So we have to keep that in mind as well. So everything that we do um, for review and really moving forward, we have to have an alternative that we that we as a district print and distribute in some way for everything that we offer online. That's going to be a key guiding thing because again, it's about equity um, for our students. Um, I will tell you this situation is evolving hourly. Um, if we are out beyond next week, we'll go from there and, and we'll give you some guidance from there about what it looks like to continue this idea of distance learning um, as we move forward. Um, again, remember, you are Mr. Rogers helpers to our folks and, and our kids and our families um, and they're counting on us and, and we've got to step up and, and serve them. Um, I want to thank you so much for everything you're doing. Um, it is just uh, so rewarding to see the feedback coming in um, based off of the work that you guys are doing. And I'm proud to count you as among my colleagues. Uh, thank you so much. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact me and, and I will answer those as quickly as I can. Thank you.